What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Mike Dolce Knows channel. Today, I'm going to give you my top three weight cutting tips to get you pool ready by the weekend. Now, that might sound a little crazy, but I'm pretty fucking nuts. So, Thank you guys for being here. First, click the links below. If you want to work with us, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. I have an online coaching program with a few spots available right now. We also have four and 12-week personalized diet and exercise programs to get you in the best shape of your life. Those links are below. And I want to thank our new sponsor, MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce, which provides industry-leading blood work analysis and I have my own specific blood work panels that you should be following. Click MerrickHealth.com slash Dolce. Use the Dolce promo code to save 10%. Those links are below. Now, you want to look tight. You want to look toned. You want to drop jaws at the beach. You respect the world's greatest athletes and what they go through to get on the scale prior to world-class competition. But you don't want to deal with all that nonsense. You're not fighting for the UFC. You're just trying to get a little bit of hanky-panky with the hot thing at the beach. I can help you look your absolute best. Now, I want to make this video quick. I say this all the time, and we wind up chit-chatting and whatnot. But let me get straight to the point. Tip number one. Well, let me tell you tip number one in a moment. I always do this, but I want to give context. My job as a coach is to teach you everything I know, not just tell you what to do. Contextually, we always want to lose body fat. The lower your body fat percentage is, the easier it is to look your absolute best. Much of weight cutting is temporary. It is a temporary reduction in total body mass for a specific purpose. For your intention, you want to look amazing. Drop jaws at the beach, at the river, at the pool, at the barbecue. Get in that little dress or fit in that suit by the weekend. We can help you lose upwards of 10 pounds in three short days with these tips I'm about to share. For the mixed martial arts athletes, it takes uh, a little bit longer. There's a little bit more going on. There's a lot more riding on it. But getting your body fat down year-round matters. That's where our online program is very helpful with you losing all that body fat. Now, you, 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 you're you already super lean or you got a couple days before the big event. What do you do? The first thing I want you to do is tip number one, increase water. Many of the mixed martial arts athletes, they blow their weight cut because they perform a water loading pyramid. What does that mean? They start with the widest part of the pyramid. They start with three gallons on Monday, two gallons on Tuesday, one gallon on Wednesday. They drink nothing on Thursday and then they cut weight Friday morning. What happens? The body becomes dehydrated Tuesday. This is what happens. They flood the body with so much water thinking, I the more water I put in, my body's going to push water out. That's correct. But then they taper down the water. And what happens? The body cannot then replenish the amount of water it has previously per, uh, pushed out. And now they're entering into a dehydrated state before a series of stress mechanisms are initiated. The body realizes it's, it's reaching a point of dehydration and it slows the perspiration and respiration process, making it much harder to lose any water. And in fact, the athlete starts to hold on to water, which is the opposite of what we want to do. Here at the Dolce Diet, why we've been so successful is because we know that. We understand the biochemistry. We understand what stress hormones do, and we work with the body. We perform what we call a reverse pyramid. Now, instead of having the widest base at the bottom of the pyramid, we put the widest base at the top of the pyramid. What does that mean? That means based upon your baseline, let's say you drink a gallon of water per day. That's fine. That's perfect. Uh, uh, sorry. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you drink a gallon, a gallon, a gallon. On Monday, we say a gallon plus one, a gallon plus one unit. Maybe that's one gallon plus 16 ounces, or let's say a liter, one gallon plus one liter on Monday. On Tuesday, one gallon plus two liters. On Wednesday, one gallon plus three liters. So we've tapered up, tapered up, tapered up, and the body has to start pushing more water out. And then we super hydrate, push more water out. We super hydrate again, push more water out. And when the body thinks we're going to keep super hydrating, that's where we taper down the water just before the event. 
Now, I know all the UFC coaches and all the athletes are leaning forward right now. They're going to use this video as homework. And you're welcome, guys. I want you to. I want to open source all of my weight cutting techniques. So any coaches, any athletes, any promoters, if you want information, you want to ask me questions, just ping me a quick message. You can go to the online website or go to the dolcediet.com. There's a question area where you can contact me directly or just hit me up on Instagram. If you're a pro athlete or a pro coach, I'll, I'll give you all this information for free. I will open source this for you in deeper context. I'm at the point in my career, I want to give all this away for free. I want to give you the source code for free. I want to open up everything for free. That's what I'm trying to do here with you guys. So feel free. That's what we're, we're doing. Now, so what you do is you increase water. You drink more than more than more above your baseline Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And let's say your event's on Saturday. You don't have to step on the scale Friday like the UFC athletes do. So we can push that taper a little farther. But your highest day, let's say your highest day is Thursday. And you drink um, two full gallons of water. Well, that's a lot of water for the average person. I drink two full gallons, eight liters every day because I'm a savage and I work my ass off and I sweat a lot. I lose about six pounds for every hour that I exercise. That's almost a full gallon right there, right? So I'm losing a gallon an hour during high-level exercise. That's why I drink two gallons per day. And you should probably think about increasing your activity to the point that you're that efficient. I'm just extremely efficient at sweating, at purifying my body, and also replacing that. Now, as we move through, we then taper that. So whatever your highest day was, let's say Thursday was your highest day. You drank eight liters on Thursday. On Friday, drink half. That's the key. We go up, 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 up. We drop it, but we drink half. Now, a gallon a day, well, that's your baseline anyway. That's what you drank Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you felt amazing, but your body's smart, and we're working with your body. We're not hacking your body. We're not working against your body. We're working with the natural physiological inclination of your body. Your body will work with you, work hard for you to push those eight liters out, and it will do that, but will only replace four liters. Your body thinks it will push out eight liters. It thinks you're going to consume eight liters. It, it thinks you're going to consume nine liters because you set that precedent. So your body will actually push even more water out on Friday, allowing you to wake up on Saturday bone dry, baby. And that's what we want. Now, I would start, what we do is we front load the day on Friday, the day before the event. We front load that day, which means we drink the majority of the water earlier in the day. With the combat athletes we work with, usually we finish four liters by noon that day. And then I allow them one to two liters to sip on as they need because I don't need them, don't want them totally dry. And it's funny. They'll lose those four liters usually over the next four hours. By four o'clock, they usually wake up lighter than when they woke up in the morning or went to bed the night before, which is awesome. So tip number one is the reverse pyramid tip number two is lower sodium do not eliminate sodium sodium is necessary for all cellular contraction sodium is necessary for muscular contraction as well as cardiac function we do not go zero sodium what we do is the week before the weigh-in we increase our sodium intake higher 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 oops excuse me one second here hello Sirius XM spam call me. How dare you? I'm in the middle of a live stream teaching people how to get into amazing shape. Thank you guys for being here. Sorry, Jason. But anyway, um, so sodium, we increase sodium ever so slowly the week before Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday, we bring it back down to baseline. Once again, baseline is everything. For your purposes, let's say, you know, next Saturday, you're going to be going to the beach. You want to look your best. The week before, Friday before, Thursday before, even Wednesday before, add a little more sodium to your food and then stop the extra sodium on Monday. Go back to baseline in which you add no extra sodium Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. The increase and then drop off, it, it encourages your body, not forces, encourages your body to lose additional water because sodium attracts water. Now, while you're going through your water, your hydration reverse pyramid, you're also artificially bringing up your sodium and then bringing it down to, down to baseline. This will encourage your body to lose additional water weight, really drying out your physique. 
the last thing that we suggest you consider that we do is we start taking warm baths. Take a warm bath Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night. I would say take a warm bath, something that is comfortable, not too hot, never burns your skin. It should feel like you're laying on a beautiful tropical beach with a nice breeze just constantly caressing your skin. You should lay in the beautiful tub. I like to shut the lights off, light a few candles, really make it romantic, watch a little Netflix and chill or a little cool blues music, chill out, ah, relax. You're actually encouraging your body to perspire. You're encouraging your body to lose water. You're purifying your body in many ways. And then you're replacing that through the water pyramid, the reverse pyramid. Water out, new fresh water in. Water toxins out, new fresh water in. See what we're doing. This is a very holistic approach. But I'm the, the world's greatest weight-cutting mind. Ah, I have more success than anybody else in the industry because we take a very practical, holistic approach to doing this where it sounds so simple, but the science is heavy and deep, and we're well aware of the science, but it's the application of the science that matters. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we take a 30-minute bath or so. With the elite athletes, we usually slowly titrate up the time. We add five minutes. 30 minutes, 35, 40, 45, we get them comfortable in the water and it's always a relaxing environment, which again, we understand stress hormones and the stress hormone physiological biochemical response. We actually go the other way. We make weight cutting, weight loss, water loss, a very therapeutic event. We cultivate this atmosphere of serenity for the weight loss which then allows greater, more efficient weight loss. And I actually measure this. I have, I have notebooks. We have data on every athlete we've ever worked with. And I understand very acutely how much water can and should be lost per unit of time relative to the individual, relative to their body mass, relative to the temperature, relative to the protocols being implemented. This is the best and easiest way to do it. So now let me, let me wrap this up here before we walk away. Feel free to ask any brief questions. Number one, we reverse pyramid. Each day we start drinking a little bit more water than the last day. We don't go crazy. I don't say drink three gallons. I don't think I've ever had an athlete drink three gallons. We find out your baseline. What do you normally drink every day? Most athletes typically drink between three and six liters per day based upon activity and body size. Let's say four liters. Perfect. Four liters plus one unit. The smaller athletes, one unit, 16 ounces. The larger athlete, one unit is, I have one right here, one liter. That's actually, so all training camp, they drink four of these a day. And then Monday before the weigh-in, they drink five. And then they drink six on Tuesday and seven on Wednesday. And typically that's it. Now you might go a little bit more, that's fine. But then we cut it in half the day before the event. So our water period, number two, we artificially increase our sodium intake through iodized table salt plus Himalayan sea salt. We just add a little bit more water to our food, which is a good thing anyway, artificially for three to five days before the taper period, which is three to five days again. So you're talking six to 10 days prior to weigh you have a little artificial taper up and then an artificial, then an uh, intentional taper down. And then we get used to losing the water. And I will say bonus pro tip right here. After the hot bath, let the water just lay naked in the tub. Let Stop sweating naturally. Take a shower because baths are pretty dirty and there's a ring around the tub. Wash your dirty little body off and then jump into a cold plunge if you have access to it or get in a cold shower, specifically the night before your event. And I do that. We work with a lot of models, a lot of high-end models, actors and actresses. The night before their, their you know sexy scene or their, their barbarian scene, and I have can't disclose who we work with, but before some of the scenes that you've actually seen and some of the bodies you probably have hanging posters in your room of athletes and, and actors and actresses that we've worked with, we've created those bodies, which is super cool. The night before we do this exact same protocol, but we freeze them out. Why is that? Because when you go through the cold process, you actually reduce inflammation. Now we've artificially reduced the space through the perspiration event right through the, the sweating, through the tub, through the water and electrolyte manipulation. There's like a bunch of other stuff that we do. This video is already almost too long. So I'm giving you top three instead of like my top 30 um, tips. But what we do is we finish on cold to the point that they get shivers. Why is this? That helps the skin shrink wrap. Because now we've sweat, we've lost 
you know, two, three, four, five additional pounds through th sweating the night before the event. And then we've shrunk in the skin temporarily, artificially, but that's what weight cutting is. It's the artificial reduction of total body mass. You don't maintain your weight cut weight. You float back up again. Same thing with, with actors and actresses, which is more like you who wants to look super sexy on the beach the next day. We artificially shrink their weight down from the cold, that cold water immersion, cold shower, cold plunge, however it is. When you wake up the next morning, you'll look in the mirror and you will have that dick skin thin look to your skin. It'll be so thin, so shrink wrap, so tight. Pro tip, what do you guys think about this tip? Please leave any comments, any questions below. I'm happy to answer them into future videos. And if you enjoyed this, consider subscribing to this channel and help the channel grow. I appreciate you guys. Until next time, boom.